We're still in project demo 12. We're still in the subfolder schematic and we've still got drawing demo 02 open. Now, when you're working with your AutoCAD electrical projects, you sometimes want to create a project specific catalog database. You might be working with a specific manufacturer or you might have specific components that work only on this particular AutoCAD electrical project. Now, if I just go into my file explorer in Windows for a moment and bring up the standard catalogs that are installed when you first install AutoCAD Electrical. So you can see you've got things like the ACE electrical standard. You've got the default catalog, which is the one that is always there. And you'll notice these are all MDB files, Microsoft MDB files, which are access database files. And you'll notice you've also got an XLS file there as well, an Excel file. All of these can be edited at any time and you can create new ones and add them to your default catalogs folder in the AutoCAD installation files. So when you install AutoCAD Electrical, this catalogs folder is always there. You might put your manufacturer's catalog in here that you specifically need to use. Now, at the moment, we're just using that one there, the default catalog MDB file for the project that we're working on. So I'll just minimize the catalogs folder for the moment. And what we can do is if we go to the project tab on the ribbon here and then go to the other tools fly out and click on it here, I'm going to pin it open so it doesn't keep flicking back into the ribbon. And you'll see that you've got a whole load of different commands here on the other tools for your AutoCAD electrical projects. Now you've got this icon here, create project specific catalog database. So if I click on that now, you can see that the main catalog file is the one I've just shown you. It's that one there, the default catalog MDB file. But if I come down here, I can create a project specific catalog file, which I can also save in the project folder or keep it separate and put it in a different location. So you can see there that my location for that one would become demo 12 catalog MDB. Now I'm not gonna change all of those settings. I'm just gonna hit cancel there for now and I'm gonna unpin the flyout menu. But the idea being is you've got that tool there that will allow you to create a project specific catalog database instead of the default catalog database. You can also store it separately, either in your project file or not within your project file as well. So the whole idea is that you can make it project specific. And that's very important, like I said, if you're working with a specific manufacturer or you've got specific project standards that you need to maintain.